So this is a demo of this, how this forklift charging in 12 volts actually works. You have your charger, you have each set going across in this particular case. I don't know how it is on your forklift, but each pack, single pack, goes across the line, 12 volts. So I put these little screws in there. You have to be careful that you don't break open the end, the terminal end. The, it's not. It's just like an end, it's not really a terminal. So I drill little holes in there and put screws in to hook up my charger. And each 12 volt pack gets charged by a regular charger separately until it comes up to a decent voltage. Um, and of course you have to maintain your battery by putting the distilled water in it, whatever. Once you get up to a reasonable voltage, somewhere 36 volt uh, range, then you can hook up your main charger to the 36 volt pack and charge the battery the right way. But in this case, my batteries were down to like six or seven volts. This thing pretty much went dead and I had to use my um, battery pack on the side my three batteries to get it moved over to the charger and then charge it separately with a regular charger to bring it up so that the um, the, the forklift charger wouldn't trip the, the, the uh, fuse and then once it's up to a high enough capacity this usually takes a few hours at least probably about four or five six hours to charge each cell section 12 volt section um, to enough voltage where the whole battery can be charged and uh, that should make it work thanks for watching another thing I wanted to say about this forklift system you have to be really really careful about polarity you have to check and double check every time you charge something this big to make sure that the polarity is right and you have to have very good ventilation. I would suggest even air movement in this. Uh, I'm doing this here and it's pretty much the doors open. I got fans blowing. You can have an explosion on any battery, let alone a battery in this capacity. So I would advise this being done by someone who's careful and a professional and really understands how to take care in terms of battery polarity and um, I mean, it's just a dangerous situation, so you have to be careful.